some dirt, some actual proper just soil. Hey, welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. And uh, things have been difficult. Haven't been able to make some videos recently. Um, sorry about that. Get the violins out. Last time I made a video I said, sorry, I've been ill. Well, since then, Prime Minister resigned and I've been in mourning. So, didn't come out of my room for days. Actually, that's a lie. After I got ill, I got slightly better and then I got ill again. Ha! But it was all good because there was an Aldax. I booked an Aldax for today, right now. I'm supposed to be riding an Aldax right now. And uh, then what happened before that was I got ill again. And then I did a test for coronavirus. And it came back positive, so that's me done. So that's me, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going right out to the west instead. It was gonna be a good Aldax as well today. Aldax Club Bristol's 10 years old. It's like a birthday party and an Aldax at the same time. So I'm missing out on the whole lot. On top of that, I've got a casualty in the fleet. My uh, silver hybrid bike, <clears throat> the Bothy bike. That one uh, had a, I was changing the, the, the chain set and uh, bottom bracket was stuck in the frame. So got it in a vise and ended up snapping the bottom bracket. Half of it's still in the frame, half of it's not. And uh, yeah, I don't know how to get that out. I'll show you some pictures. Does anyone know how to remove that mess of a half broken bottom bracket? The drive side cup is seized as well, just for uh, bonus points. It's definitely tree season, isn't it? Look at these uh, colors going on right now. I think that means what I'm gonna do is just check if the swamp cypresses have gone gone crimson or gold or whatever colour they're going to go. They're not swamp cypresses. Follow me for the swamp cypresses. There they are. Three of them stood there. They're um, still green. Maybe give it a month or so and they'll, uh, they'll change. But yeah, that's the, the latest news. It's uh, still green. Let's find some other ones. Right there is a massive oak tree. Look at that. And um, next up, I had this colourful looking one. I'm going to try and Google this, see what this is. See that? I'll get one from a distance in a minute, but it's got some, um, got some uh, leaves that should be identifiable, I reckon. I've got the answer. One sec, just turning round. <clears throat> so I went past that massive oak. That red looking one is apparently a red oak. There you go. Hope that's not a 5G tower next to it. Maybe that's where it's gone red. Okay, I'm done with the trees of Aztec for now. I'm back in the, uh, back in countryside doing a few local lanes. So COVID for me was just a bit um, quick and sharp. Came down pretty quick with like a hot and cold fever and a banging headache that, took, that kept me up all night. <clears throat> Get the violins out. And then a day later I felt human again and now I'm getting better. So that was quite quick, but it's the first time I've ever had it. I had a couple of them jabs them carrot pokers, had a couple of them, a couple of carrots last year, but um, uh, yeah, maybe I needed a few more. It wasn't very nice, to be honest, but um, I'm on the mend. All axes are on the horizon, fingers crossed. Today I'm actually trying out the that redshift shock stop something redshift stem, you know that one the boingy comfortable stem. I've got that paired up now today with the aero extensions. Wow. I'm going to show you how that works because 
the science of leverage means you get quite a lot of boing on these things I am enjoying it it's going to be a comfortable and fast aerodynamic Audax the next one I do and demonstrate it for you right pushing down on the bars like this you don't get much movement at all if you push down on these hoods you can see that moving if you push down on these you get super mega movement just because of the leverage because it all it's all hinging from here look that's where it's all hinging from <sighs> should keep the camera still really you'll see better but it just means when you're on 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 the on the aero bars like this you get quite a lot of spring like these hands are going up and down quite a lot soaking up a lot of bumps out of breath actually bat flu's got me <sighs> all right back to Tockington and then home see you later oh back at Aztec gonna uh, end the video but before that I'm just gonna check I'm dot watching this weekend there's some some good dot watching going on there seems to be an, a bit of an off-road gravelly kind of race in South Africa going on just gonna get the phone out and check Okay, I'm going to bring this to you from the Crimson Maple at Spandex Studios. So, this is the dot watch in this weekend. Oh, you can see me. Hello. Um, Rhino Run. There you go. Looks like it's about two and a half thousand Ks. And I think Abdullah Zainab could well be leading. Go on Abdullah, you can do it. So I guess if I want to ride any gravel, I've either got to get that bottom bracket out of my bike, or just use the track attack. But I don't feel that that's going to be competitive. I think it's a little outdated. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed the quick video. I'll uh, come back better, firing on all cylinders. Watch out for gout, see you later.